Hello everybody and welcome back to my floss tube. This is floss tube number 18. Uh, my name is Angela and welcome to everybody. So if you are new to my channel, hello and a lovely warm welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, hello and thank you for joining in with my journey of my cross stitching. So I know that this video is so late this week, but um, in the UK here we have gone into another four week lockdown and a result of that has meant a very steep increase in my, if you like, day job of work. So I've been really quite busy um, moving things back online again, um, which sounds easier said than done really. Um, so that's why I'm quite late in posting and I it's um, Sunday the 8th of November today and it's Sunday evening and I thought you know what I've got a bit of time now I'm gonna film <laughs> so excuse the sort of like Sunday no makeup look <laughs> um, but yeah I just thought I really want to share what I've been working on um, since my last video with you and also my November goals so I cannot wait to um, share with you but I just want to say I really really hope that you are all keeping safe and well I know it's still a scary time out in the world and I just want to wish and send everybody some really good um, positive vibes so let's start with what I've been working on and the first one is my Paris story keep this one um, I'm, it's so not organised, I don't even have the um, sheets ready like I normally do. But anyway, so this is what it will look like. This is by Amy Stewart and this is stitched on 18 count Ada. And this is where I'm at. And it's coming on so well now. So now I have done... 75.21 percent it's only another 25 percent to go and it's done i'm just itching to get it done i really would love actually to get this done by the end of the month and you know when you're so close to the finish line i almost feel like i could do it um i have got a very busy month but i have got some stitchy time too so I think actually, yeah, I think I could do it. So I've done 26,556 stitches. Let me just bring it in a bit more. I know I'm not showing you the whole thing. I will show you the whole thing. I might do that next week actually, so you can see it in context for those of you that haven't seen the whole thing. But it's just such a dream to stitch. And at the moment I'm stitching one colour at a time. So I'm finishing that colour as well, like colour completion really. So yeah, it's just looking super awesome, I think. I've, I've done a lot of the yellow um, this week and I've done more of the pink bag and sort of these little bits down there, I'm sort of filling those in. So a bit of a mixture, but I really do need to, I think I'm just gonna try and go like that with it now. So yeah, loving it. But hopefully by the end of November, I will potentially have it finished. If not November, then obviously the first week of December I really is my, is my limit. On having that finished so yes as I say that is 75.21% um, and a um, little later on I'll share what my goal is for the month um, if I don't get to reach 100% then I, there is a specific goal that I want to reach on that one so that's that one the next one um, where is it where is it here it is is pink fairy what i call pink fairy it's actually faces of fairy 178 by jasmine beckett griffith that's what it will look like and this is where i'm at and with all of these i will put pictures of where i was at before so i just did a little bit more of the pink around there um, but that's the actual sort of width of it um, yeah, and this one is stitched 20 count 2 over 1. I just love the pinks and how it's coming out. It's just such a lovely, lovely stitch. So what I think I'm going to do with this one 
is I think I'm going to go across and work down so I get to kind of like this level. So sort of do everything in here and then just work my way down. I think that's what I've decided to do with this one now. So yeah, really enjoying that one. So I stitched, what did I stitch? I stitched on it for two hours this week and 378 stitches. On my Paris one this week I stitched five and a half hours and 1,000... And 25 stitches so let me put those over there and then as you know I was racing to finish uh, my sunflower cupcake design for putting it into a card for a friend for her granddaughter and I absolutely smashed it I finished it and everybody I was showing just loved it so I will insert a um, couple of pictures of what that looked like and hope that you enjoy those. So then I, you know how I love the um, stitching challenge Facebook groups that I'm in. The first one is Enchanted Stitching Challenges and every month they have a um, Disney film as the theme of the month and this month the film is, if I say it right, Ratatouille. I've not seen the film so I'm hoping to watch the film because one of the challenges what they call watch party where you stitch on something while you watch the film so I will ho I hope to get that done this month um I haven't done any of the challenge or any of the weekly or monthly challenges I didn't do any for hocus pocus in October and I haven't done any this month so far I think it's because I'm really racing to finish the Paris story keep um by heaven and earth my Paris one um I just, like I said, I just want really, I'm just focused on getting that done. But every now and then I do like to stitch on some other things. But I have started something with the, with, with the Full Coverage Fanatics Facebook group that I'm in, which is Wheel of Fortune this month. And Wheel of Fortune is where you had to choose your number of stitches you were going to stitch. And they, you had certain words that you could choose. I've chosen the seasonal words. Um, and there are one, two, three, four, five words in there. And um, basically I've decided to do 250 stitches per word. So I've picked some of my Heaven and Earth designs. And I'm just trying to achieve those words this month. So somebody very kindly on the Facebook page posted one of these sheets. So I've just printed it out. So I've got my Pink Fairy, my Paris Story Keep, my Ornament Healing Rose, my Mini Virus Detected, and then my Paris Story Keep again, so that I can really challenge myself to get some stitches in. Because like I say, even though I love my Paris Story Keep, and I really want to get it finished, sometimes it's just nice to stitch on something a little bit different. So that's what I've worked on so far, um, in terms of Facebook groups, is, is that really. Um, so let me go through then my November goals with you. So let me just pull these back for a second. And like I say, I apologise for not being as organised as normal. I just didn't, it was literally like two minutes before I started filming. I was like, right, I'm going to film. Um, right, so let's go through it then. Paris, uh, my story keep life is an open book. Paris, the one I've just showed you. This is, I really would love to get by the end of November to 90%, at a minimum 90%. So that would be 31,779 stitches. So that would mean from where I am right now to achieving that goal is 5,223. I've already done a thousand in a week. So that's why I think actually I could get to 90. Could I even finish it? Who knows? But yeah, just show you again. How gorgeous is it so that's my goal for that one my pink fairy so my um, the one I just showed you faces of fairy 178 that is currently at 5.77% and I want to get that to 8% which is 4014 stitches and so I've got another 1,118 stitches to do to achieve my goal of the 
percent so let me just put that there just as a reminder that's that one my next heaven and earth design is my ornament peeling rose and this is by carol cavalleris that's that one now this is another one stitched on 18 count two over one this is where i am at at the moment And this one I want to get to 12%, which is 5,906 stitches. So I've got 968 stitches to do to achieve that goal. So that's that one. Then, and these are in no particular order, by the way. This is, um, just so you know, guys, I know um, I have been asked this before. What I keep all of my, if you like, my, my patterns, or not, not my patterns, like print out of the first few pages of a Heaven and Earth chart and my actual stitching, I keep in these sort of plasticky wallets and I've got like a different colour for each project. So this next one is Mini Virus Detected and that is by Randall Spangler and this is stitched on 20 count, 2 over 1 and that's where that is. I was literally just starting the dragon and I just, well, I was doing this page really wanting to get this page as a finish and then I saw how close I was to the dragon I was like, oh, I'm going to start, I'm going to start. So that's that one and I want to get that one to 10% and I'm currently at 8.95% so that's 894 more stitches on that one so I'm just going to pop that down there then my next one is a fairly new one uh, if I can find the it is Mini the Mountain Cabin by Dominic Davison. As I say, this is a fairly newish start. I just love that picture. And this one, I've already decided that I'm colour completing as I go. Um, I do like the colour completion. So like I say, this is 18 count, 2 over 1, and that's one colour. Let me just, I'm going to have to put it across my face a little bit. Um, that's one colour completely done I don't even think I have reached the edges completely so there is a bit more to do to reach the edges so for that one I wanted to get to 3% because I'm currently at 1.91% which is another 816 stitches so I'm going to find a colour that's as close to 816 stitches as possible um, with that one so that's that then is this my last one I think it is this is my last one and this was my newest start and this is mini princess of the sea by Donna Gelsinger and that is what it will look like it's such a small picture but it's so cute and this one I haven't worked on it for ages in fact I don't think I worked on it in the whole of October so I'm determined to get it out um, at least um, get a touch point on it for November but this one and I always get it out the wrong way no it's this way um, is stitched on 25 count 2 over 1 tenth stitch and this is my one and only piece on 25 count I haven't really done an awful lot at all I don't know if the light's helping there um, but to show you how much I've done, I have done 0.63%. I want to get to 2%, so that's another 1,085. And I just thought these are 10 stitches and they do go a lot quicker. So I will definitely be getting that out at some point and going with that. So that's all of my goals and my heaven and earth designs. As you can see, I'm absolutely obsessed <laughs> with heaven and earth designs. I have got two more in the pipeline. Um, which I am, um, my boyfriend is very kindly um, giving to me one for my birthday in December and one for Christmas. So one I'm actually going to start on my birthday 
I've been a bit cheeky. I've ordered all the stuff um, via him, if you like. And then, because it's obviously coming before my birthday, I'm actually going to get the material surged and all of the threads on the bobbin. So literally on my birthday, when I open it, I can literally start. So that one is going to be um, the Story Keep, very similar to the Paris one, because there's three of them that I want to do. And it's going to be Life is an Open Book, New York, and that's what that one will be. And then the only one other one that I would say is in the series is the London version. I've got the chart, I just haven't got a plan to start it. Um, and then the other one that my boyfriend's going to give me at Christmas is going to be a New Year start. And nearer the time I'm going to send, oh, I'll share that one with you. Um, but it's, it will be my biggest project to date and the most number of stitches. So it'll take me a little while to complete it. But I think for me, with these Heaven and Earth designs, it's more about the process of the stitching i love seeing the picture come alive so i know these projects are going to take me an awfully long time but i absolutely love stitching them so that's my heaven and earth designs and what i will say to anybody thinking of starting a heaven and earth design i only found heaven and earth designs in june this year i started my paris story keep one the one that i've done the most on i started that in june and i only found them in june so prior to that I used to literally do um, just all I did was make cards or get kits I like uh, many of you know I like dim dimensions kits that's really what I did with my stitching so when I found heaven and earth designs oh my goodness so if you're if you're nervous about starting one honestly don't be it's it's actually I find it quite easy because there's no back stitching there's no half stitches or fractional stitches it's just crosses if you want to do crosses or you can do it as 10 stitch which is half a cross so they are so easy and I think they're I say easy they're a big design and there there are a lot of colors um, but it's, it's just so therapeutic I find so don't be daunted don't be put off by starting them um, have a go but my top tip would definitely be to pick a picture that you love and for me, there's a lot of pictures that I love because I've got so many more heaven and earth designs that I could be starting. Um, so definitely pick something you love. So that's it for this week. Um, I'm hoping next week, um, I'm working a couple of night shifts next week. Um, so my video might not come out till Thursday, but then I'm hoping to get into a routine where I can still post on a Tuesday from the week after. Because I do like getting my videos out on a Tuesday. But thank you guys so much for being patient with me um, this week. Sometimes life happens, doesn't it? And um, things get in the way. But as I say, I'm just really sending you um, a big... Or sending you all a big virtual hug and some positive vibes. And just hope that you're all keeping safe and well. And until next time, guys. Happy stitching. Bye for now.